I'd like to acknowledge that we're meeting on the traditional country of the Ghana people. Uh, the Adelaide clients I'm paying my respects to the elders past, present and future. And uh, I'm David Baker, I'm the president of this amazing installation, this gallery that was purposely built for the South Australian Society of Arts and uh, a long time ago, when we were 164 years old, we were the oldest art society in Australia and it's a privilege to, uh, to be looking after the people who do exhibitions in here and do artwork for this space. And today we're opening up this Adelaide Art Photographers uh, from 1970 to 2000. Our website's been redeveloped, that's going to be behind. We'll try and get some stuff on Facebook and Instagram as well. And uh, so to open this amazing exhibition, and some of you here are people who have stuff on the wall, this amazing work, so it's very exciting. But unfortunately, we can't get any closer than <laughs> one and a half metres, so we I can't. Can marry. I, I, just, <laughs> I just went into the office and said, there's some amazing talent out there. I'd love to shake their hand, but I can't. So consider your hands shaken, because you've got amazing talent. I just love what's on the wall. So to open today, we have Atkins from Atkins Photographic. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Atkins. Thank you, everybody. Um, thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to, um, I also want to acknowledge the Ghana people, the traditional owners of this land and their uh, forebears and their future. And this would have been one of the first buildings they would have seen of of us who have been the wave that's taken over this state. Um, so this is really a very interesting place. And I've got to say, this is the most beautiful gallery, I think, in Adelaide. Would anyone um, care to fight me on that at a distance? It is incredible. And um, the Royal Society are, are absolutely blessed to have it and to be able to use it. And they do use it so well. So I want to acknowledge the Royal Society, David, and, and your wonderful crew for, for doing this. Uh, because this is, I think having photography here is, is exactly where it should be. Uh, I think uh, in many ways keeping the history of South Australian art alive and mixing it with art that's being made now is something that is absolutely critical to, to what's going on. So thank you very much Royal Society for that. It's excellent. Um, looking. Looking at the reason why we're here, the reason why we have a, a beautiful book to launch, the reason why we have a beautiful exhibition to, to launch is what we really need to do is state curators. Uh, and by curators, I'm using it as a general term. They're our historians, they're our tastemakers, they're the people who say yes or no. Um, sometimes they're wrong, sometimes they're right. And I think the reason why some of this work has not been so prevalent in our view is because some curators were wrong and I think some of this work has been sort of maybe left uh, unnoticed and left uncelebrated. Time goes by, we're in this period of then and now and how strange it is right now to be alive and be in Adelaide. We've got a lot of now happening which is very consumptive, your brain is chewing over what's happening. Should I stand next to this person? Should this person be here? Are we silly for all being here? Should, you know, there's a lot going on. But in the process of that, we lose a bit of them in that because our brain has only got so much, so much of capacity. So the thens we remember are the big thens. We remember wars, we remember headlines, we remember massive stuff that toppled things. We don't often remember the subtle beauty that's all in between all of that. And I think what we're doing here now is looking at a collection of work and celebrating a collection of artists, incomplete, completely incomplete though it is, it is representative of an era, a very, very important era. And for that I want to thank the curators for saving this work, putting it together, keeping it and having a space for us all. It's, it's fabulous. So let's be a little bit specific about this. Um, Gary Sauer Thompson um, and Adam Dukovitz. Uh, we're teamed together to make this book and then fire off this exhibition. Gary uh, is a bit of a silent partner in this, or you, though you'll read his, read his ruminatings in the book. He's a very intelligent, uh, very academic viewer of art, and he's a philosopher, and I find that stuff fascinating. 
and he supplied quite a bit of money behind things to make it happen. So we must thank Gary, because without that, Adam wouldn't have had that. And Adam, of course, for his fabulous energy in putting, I don't know how he does it. Have you, have you all had a page through the two volumes of the history of the Royal Society of Arts? Please, if you haven't, it's $50 a copy. There's two, they sell them up here. I'm sure there's plenty. I bought a couple of copies of it and it is insane. The detail and information and the, and the plates of, of art in there. You, you won't guess how much beauty has come out of Australian, South Australian arts in the past 160 years. So um, Adam is incredible. I, I don't know how he gets the energy. I'm quite grateful that he's not here. He's like, oh, I'm going to be here. I'm gonna sit there. Listen to your family, stay away. We need you around. We need you to do the next book. Uh, so Gary and Adam really have to be thanked. I think um, the next person I'd like to, to thank as part of this process, I'm going to forget everybody, so I'm not going to forget a few of them. Egg Douglas is, is one of the big heroes as a part of this, what we need to celebrate. This is Ed's work up here at the back. And I don't know how you feel when you glance around, but you, Ed's work kind of hops out at you and smacks you in the face, and, and you wonder why, and you answer sort of questions art's meant to ask you. Remember, this is all done pre-Photoshop. This is all done in enlarger, in camera, in darkroom. Uh, so, you know, Ed's incredible. And, and like Ed, Gavin, Blake, Mark Kimber, um, I've made a list here. Peter Jolly, Bill Neve, Leonie Reisberg, Fiona Hall, Kate Brakey, um, Michael Kluvanek, who is here tonight. Thank you, Michael. Alan Crookshank, Steve Barrett-Mary, these people have all been a part of helping young artists go forward. They were a part of the Adelaide School of Art over the years. They've gone off and they've made their own art school to Centre for Creative Photography. They've nurtured young artists. They themselves are curators of art. They are curators of artists. And without them, none of this happens. So we must give them all the love and support we can because it's quite phenomenal what South Australia has produced and keeps producing. So, Thanks very much to the artists who both responded to their teachers and mentors and teachers and guides and curators. Thanks to the artists who responded for the book. I know a lot were asked and invited and a few have made it in there and I think they're beautifully represented. I would love to see additional volumes, I'd love them all covered, but we know how that happens and how difficult that is. It's amazing we've got such one beautiful piece alive. I want to thank the artists that responded to this fantastic opportunity. Uh, what a place to hang and be hung. Uh, it's, it's actually a really stunning exhibition. It, it is truly fantastic. And there's work on the wall that's for sale, so it's something you like, you want, you buy, you keep someone eating in these difficult times. It would be a very good idea. I would encourage it. So, what can I be left to say? Um, I'm going to say the exhibition's open, but I'm also going to give a little bit of um, advice, perhaps, from someone who really doesn't know what he's talking about. Perhaps a warning. Curators, be kind. Um, I think some of this work was lost because people didn't think photography was important. They thought it wasn't painting, it wasn't sculpture, it wasn't, it wasn't art. We know it's art. That was silly all the way along. Um, it's always been art. It will always be art. So the curators out there to keep an open mind, to use your powers to put things together. And, you know, the people who hung the show, thanks for the volunteers who did that. But the decisions about where things go and what hangs alongside what, I think they're very well made. And, um, and the show, really spectacular. So please take your time, have a good look. There are artists in the room. If you're an artist, can you put your hand up? Michael? Yes? Okay, there's a few around. You need to bother them at a distance and ask them for their story because it will be worth it and send your friends and family in here it's gently, not all at once so we don't infect one another because um, this is a show not to be missed so thank you so much for your attention and enjoy the afternoon
quite early on a Thursday morning and they look at work which is, in this case, some of it was in approximately where it should be on the wall, some of it was just sitting on the ground. And an hour and a half later, they've done this. They're, we love them to death, they're spectacularly good. Yeah. Um, so we, we very enjoy having them helping us present our public face. Are there any hangers in the room that we should pretend to have? I, I, um, yeah, Alan. Alan, there's a virtual hug going your way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I came here on the phone. We're hugging you on the time anyway, yeah. There's another one. We'll give it as much push as we can. Uh, for the only reason that we want people to see it, because as of the time the last person walks out the door, this is closed for the foreseeable future. And it could be two months, three months, four months, five months, we aren't, we aren't sure, which is quite sad. But uh, anyway, we got to see it, we got to record it, and it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you all for coming, and thank you for having me. Pleasure.